Today's show is sponsored by Black Box. Is it a common scenario where uh, they might like your project, they might like what you're bringing to the table, but they just don't want you involved with it? And yes. so they say, we like what you want, and we like what you've created. Yes. Can we take it from you? Is that as common as, as I think it would all be? All the time. Don't see it all the time. Okay. All the time. Every, every, all the time. All the time. Is there, if that happens, is there any way to negotiate yourself back of in? Course. Or if that's pretty you much kind it. of, yeah. You, you own the property. So you dictate what happens to that property. If someone's super interested in what you're doing, and they go, look, we really want you to have this property, but, you know, we're going to bring in some seasoned writers who've been doing this for 20 years to really, you know, pick this thing up and, and take it over the finish line. Uh, we're going to pay you, but you're not going to get any writing credit uh, on it. Um, you'll get a story by credit and that'll be the end of it. Um, and that happens all the time. I cannot express to you how many times that happens. Um and it's kind of just the way the world works here. Sure. Um, so prepare yourself for that. But you look at someone like uh, Frank Darabont, who wrote Shawshank, mm -hmm. and they offered him seven fi high seven figures for that script. And he said, no, I need to direct. And he stuck to his guns, and they wanted it bad enough. They said, fine, we're only going to give you $250,000 for the script, but you get to direct. He's like, I'm good with that. Wow. And that launched his career. So he, he looked at the long game as opposed to the right. short game. So, so look, if you could get anything produced as a writer, even if it's a story by credit, you're now in the game. Right. You know, you're in the game. So, but always negotiate to get something. Right. It's to stay so you, in could, as much as you, you could pitch the idea of, you know, okay, I, I'm obviously not qualified enough to be a showrunner, but no. put me in the room. You know, yeah, you won't be in, put me in the writer's room and have me learn the process or something like that. Is that something that you would absolutely, negotiate? Or? Absolutely. Like there's no there's not even a, a conversation in the world where you would be a showrunner <laughs> as your first project. That's not even that's not even a conversation. Yeah. Um, but uh, but having you in the room, having you at, you're the creator and you can't uh, you cannot uh, devalue yourself in that sense. You are the creator of this property that someone wants to put in. A, you know, a, a good amount of money to produce into a series, whether that be hundreds of thousands or even possibly millions, depending on what network it goes to. So there is a value there. And don't think they're just going to throw you on. You're not going to be the PA. You know, it's not that. So, you know, if you allow people to treat you that way here, they will. But also, you can't be so stringent that it's my way or the highway when you've done nothing. So there has right. to be that, that middle ground. You know, where you go, OK, I see the way the game is played. This is my first show. Uh, let me if I if I'm the story writer, I'm the creator of it. Uh, that's a different conversation. Now, if they want to come in and just buy you out and take it over and and have somebody else come in and retweak it and make them the creator of it because they're the big show. They, they've done three or four other shows and just completely ice you out. That's a possibility. And you mm -hmm. need to prepare yourself for that possibility as well. So, um just since since you know credits are everything in the industry would you naturally expect a little bit more money if that was the case or oh, yeah. is it just the fact that you're an unknown don't even bother negotiating for that you negotiate for anything and everything you want period mm -hmm. you know uh, you know you it, it whatever you want and you feel that you should get negotiate for it but understand that there are you know, be realistic about what you're asking for. You know, you can't negotiate showrunner. You can't right. negotiate head writer, you know, uh, not at this. Uh, again, it all depends on the budget level, but the guy you're talking about seems to be a bigger deal. So um, the budget's going to probably be bigger. And now you could have a producer like that who wants to nurture you, who wants to bring you under his wing and go, look, this is the way it's going to be. You're going to be in the room. I'm going to bring these guys in to, to write the show, and I want you to be involved with them and learn from them. And there's that scenario because a good producer who really sees talent will nurture that talent because as that as that talent grows, they have a connection to that talent. So when you become big and making millions of dollars, they go, hey, remember <laughs> when I brought you in and I taught you that? I need you to jump on the show for me. That's the way the business works. So right. you have to look at relationships and you just got to see these, how these people want to work with you, you know, and, and, but don't be, don't be too afraid because you're like, I'm not an LA writer. It's okay. If you're not an LA writer, I know a lot of guys who don't live in LA who make millions of dollars a year writing screenplays and writing television shows. You know, I do. So it, it, it's doable. 
Um, but you just understand that there are give and take in, in any negotiation. But if someone's interested in your stuff, man, you've, you're you're ninety nine percent there more than the rest of us are, you know what I mean. So if someone wants like, hey, I want to give you money for your yeah. idea, or I want to produce this show for this, you know, um, it's something that I would. That's all of us dream something like that happening. So sure. I only wish I only wish for that for you, sir. I wanted to share with you this amazing new service called Blackbox. Imagine taking old footage that you've shot in the past and being able to submit them to all the major stock footage firms all with one click and you can split the commission among multiple crew members or creators so to sign up for free just go to blackbox.global